Good time, crew members. Crew members. What's happening? Hi, welcome back. Yep, hope your day of eating turkey and other filling items was successful. And well, welcome back to the Good Time Crew. Yes, we're so happy to have you guys here. Roll that intro! With that being said, we want to talk about somebody's first black cookout experience. Now, you guys have been asking for this one. I've never yeah. got a chance to see it, but I'm very curious to see, um, you know, what his description of the of the black cookout is. Did he notice the sandals? Did he notice the... Oh, right. <laughs> Y'all know the sandals. Did he do the electric slide through Frankie Beverly and Mays or Candy? <laughs> Or, you know, what, what were they doing over there? What was they, what was they doing over there? So, uh, let me go check this out with you. All right, I'm going to start this one off by saying I got a lot of black friends, okay? Most of them I got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together on the football field, loving to death. Now, with that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people positions. I do not fully understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of, like, passing a cop on a two-lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, they ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah. we go get a call from a buddy of mine. Play football together. Says, hey, buddy, I want you to come to a cookout. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. I like cookouts. So I show up mm. to the cookout. All right? As I step out of my pick em up truck, pick em up truck, <laughs> I realize that the only three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker, the napkins, and me. <laughs> All right. As I'm walking up, I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa and his great grandma and grandpa and his 47 cousins. All right, which there's no way for me to remember all these people's names. Anyway, there's a long table where the food's, where the food, everybody's eating at. Okay. They bring me over and set me down at the head of the table. I'm already, I'm already really uncomfortable at this point because I don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> Well, they say the blessing, and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout, you do not fix your own plate. They fix your plate for you. <laughs> now, they nice. bring me a yeah. whopping Dixie plate that some bitches rounded off like this yep. with barbecue. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> and I'm going to eat it. Don't get me wrong. I don't waste food. I'm going to eat it. So as I'm sitting there munching away, you know, just kind of getting my bearings about where I'm at, <laughs> These two ladies walk up to me, two of his aunties, with two different potato salads. All right. They say, we want to get your your opinion on which one of these is better. Now, Don't do it. apparently just because I'm white, I'm supposed to know the different calibers of mayonnaise. Well, I ain't finna piss nobody off at this cookout. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I ate both of them, and I told them that they were just so damn good, both of them. I, I good answer. Yep. Yeah, they were both. Now, at this current time, I am almost in a food coma. Because I've ate so much because I didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. Mm -hmm. And then his great grandmama, Mama T, that's what they call her, she comes up to me with what looks like a five pound piece of cherry pie. <laughs> now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats. All right. <laughs> all right barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness. And she wants, she's bringing me a five pound piece of pie. Now, I saw Friday after next. I know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama. I saw what happened to Craig and Day Day when they disrespect somebody's grandmama. You ain't have, you ain't finna be chasing me through these mm -hmm. pines because we way out in the woods at this cookout. I'm white, not stupid. <laughs> As I eat this pie, which I'm eating this pie because I ain't finna piss off nobody, especially the head woman there because she ranked up top. That's yep. great grandma. You better eat that thing, boy. Absolutely. I finish this pie and I drift off into a Caucasian kycosis of a food coma. What was it? Just like this right here. Just like this. I went, whew, I'm full. Ooh, no. <laughs> I head back up. The table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for. But somehow, I have, I'm still in the same chair. I have been dealt into a high stake spades game at an all black cookout. Run! Me. What the fuck is going on? We How did I get down. here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? And now the cards is in front of me, and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None. I got no idea. All right, I'm white. We played go fish and cornhole. Hey, All we did, yeah, we got bored one day, 
literally did the whitest thing possible, walked out in the field, got some corn, took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk. Put it in the bag. All right, put it in a bag, went over there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle, and we tossed it at each other. That That's what simple. we That's do. True. I have no idea what spades is. So as they give me the runaround idea what the hell is going on with this spades game, I, realize, I look at my hand and I realize that I probably got a pretty decent hand. Well, they asked me, they said, Zach, how many books you got? Which they had just explained this to me now. I'm talking about just now. <laughs> I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently that is the wrong damn answer for your first hand of spades ever. Cause as soon as I said, I got eight books, three Glock nines hit the top of the table. <laughs> oh. I've got every damn spade that you could possibly have and three other aces. <laughs> well, as I survived that round, <laughs> I go to get up and one of his cousins come over and tapped me on the shoulder and said, hey buddy, you wanna go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I ain't got a shitting clue what they're talking I don't know about. They throw bones? Like but fight? I ain't gonna piss nobody off. You gotta understand at this point I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this cookout. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I will do it. Don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> now I did not know bones meant dice. I was leaning more toward oh. dominoes, which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge. But apparently, Elks Lodge. bones <laughs> means dice. I lost $36 so fast my fucking head was spinning. $36. Okay? And apparently when they yelled gator, that just code word for the white man loses because they just took my money. I just put some more down until I ran out of money, which is fine. Made it through that one too. Now, throw bones. as I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck i went over to thank mama t you know i think i thank my buddy i thank everybody on the way to my truck and i've got my truck in my sights i am zeroed in on my truck trying to leave this place they would not let him leave no. now i get to my truck i put my hand on my truck to go open it and there's a like a sense of relief that comes over me like i didn't piss nobody off nothing went wrong mm -hmm. i went whew, i made it now, you as I open somebody. my door, I feel I'm a tap on that. my shoulder. I turn around. The whole damn cookout is behind me. <laughs> Everybody there is right around my truck. With Mama T right there in the front and my buddy. And he looked at me and said, hey, buddy, next week's Mama T's birthday. You coming back? And I looked at him. <laughs> <laughs> Bamboozled yeah. sure. on what to say. And the only thing I could come up with was, you damn right I'm coming back. No. That's the best damn barbecue I've ever had in my life. I don't know if you've ever <laughs> been to All Black Cookout, but I'm going to tell you something. If you get the invitation, you better take that shit because that is the best food you ever going to get <laughs> and the nicest damn people. Mm -hmm. I scared shitless. I ain't going to lie. I'm a big guy. I was acting like a little bitch. I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> but at the same time, that's the most fun and some of the best people I've ever been around in my entire life. I'm going back next week. Bet. I told him, I said, y'all need me to bring something like some ice because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. Remember to say that? Or like, or like some, uh, you want me to go get my little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit and bring him? You know, so he'll he'll feel at home. He got wife beaters and stuff. Yo, what y'all need? They told me I could beat. bring nothing but myself, me, and I, which I will be there. I'm white, not stupid. I ain't pissing nobody off. She. <laughs> There's a lot of things that people could learn by watching this. Yeah. Uh, the first thing is, it's true. Black people, they use any reason they can to have a cookout. Yes. Anything is a barbecue. Oh, Memorial Day, day, barbecue. Yep. <laughs> yeah. The weather is the, good. The weather is good. I think we're going to throw something on the grill. We're going to throw something on the grill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have been a part of those. And that's not even really called a cookout. Yeah, it's just like, y'all are cooking out today. Cooking outside, but it's yeah. not a cookout. It's like, there's a difference. Like, if somebody says, we got a cookout, that's planned. So, next mm -hmm. Friday is the cookout. Yeah. But, hey, we cooking out today. We you going to come over? Yeah, like, out, yeah. that's different. That means we just thought about it at the last minute. And the weather is nice enough for us to throw some steaks on the grill. Yep. Also, <laughs> I would like to say... I, I'm still keeping my black card, but I did not know what throw bones meant. I've never. I didn't know what that meant either. But I've the never thing played is, dice, I and mean, he might be in a deeper part of the South than we are. So yeah. y'all don't throw bones. Like that might be like a different term. I was gonna say I didn't know what throw bones was. I heard shoot dice. I was gonna say yeah. yeah, shoot dice, but I mean people say. And I still stuff. don't do that. I, I mean yeah. <laughs> I don't gamble. Uh, I invest. 
but I don't know. <laughs> right, but that was what he said was right though. Like just in general, like not yeah. pissing people off. Like he played his cards very well. Cause the thing is, black people just like to have a good time. And I know a lot of people are intimidated and they get afraid. Like even he said, I was kind of nervous and I'm sure he felt uncomfortable. Yeah. He was the only white person there. So I'm sure he felt uncomfortable. But when you realize like, hey, we're just here to have fun. I mean, like, yeah, we're, we're going to eat good. <laughs> like he said, don't, don't be bringing no food. Yeah, don't bring food. Bring don't ice, bring, food. bring cups, bring plates. <laughs> Bring something else. Don't bring, bring food. Because if your food does not taste good, you are on the chopping block, my yes. friend. Like the, like the show Chopped. Yes, you will never be invited hey, again. <laughs> what did he say? His name was Zach? <laughs> he was like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> Zach, <laughs> baby, who, who made the... <laughs> hey. Or they pull you to the side. <laughs> hey, look, let, me, let me tell you something. Next time you come, just bring plates. Yeah. Just bring, bring a drink. <laughs> Bring, we got a drink. Jack Daniels, bring Jack Daniels. Right. Don't bring no food. Right. Don't be cooking no food because you ain't got no salt in here. You ain't got no, no, <laughs> you no, got no flavor lavish. in here. This potato salad got raisins in it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next thing is, uh, who, who invited, uh, who told Zach he could come on over here with that potato salad? <laughs> yeah, they're going to be talking about you for a long time, yeah, Zach. They are. So next time you come over here, just bring ice, all right? You'll be all right. I thought he didn't, when he went to the car, I thought you were, what you said was right. I thought he didn't say goodbye to somebody. Because I was going to say, upset, yeah. they will call you out on that. You, yeah, good luck leaving. So you're going to leave without speaking. Yeah. <laughs> and don't show so up and not speak. speak either. Yeah, yeah, you got to talk to everybody in the room. He forgot. He said he introduced himself to like 40 people. Like, I'm not going to remember everybody's name. Yeah, but yeah. he was right. Because there's going to be one mm -hmm. person that auntie that's like, well, I don't care. Because he didn't speak to me he when he came in. So he, he must not like me. The last time Zach came in, he had an attitude. He didn't even speak. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. he, yep. speak. he spoke all of me, he speak to me. But he's right, if you do get an invitation, take it. Take it. You'll have so much fun. We yeah. like to have fun. And, and we know how to have fun. Because cornhole, I'm just, you know. But here's the best part. You don't have to show up on time if you get the invitation. You can show up late. <laughs> if you show up on time or early. You better be ready to help cook. Yeah, you're going to be cleaning, wiping down the tables. You're going to be, they're going to be just starting to throw stuff on the grill. Mm -hmm. if, so, Somebody give Zach a call and let him know. Like, hey, yeah. if that cook, if that next cookout starts at six o'clock, show up at eight thirty. You'll be right on time. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, we just started. Oh, we just started. Zach, <laughs> welcome in. Yeah, I know you just started because at six o'clock you started throwing the food on the grill. <laughs> but see, Zach might not know that. He might show up right at six. Yeah, guys, don't show up on time, but don't show up too late because then you're gonna be mad that you didn't get any yeah, food. It's all gonna be gone. All the fish is gonna be gone. Yep. There's only gonna be sides. Sides. Potato baked salad, beans, baked potato. beans. <laughs> It might be an orange soda in the, in the cooler. <laughs> like one. One. No beer. <laughs> nope. Ah, well. That was fun. Guys, this was fun sharing <laughs> sharing Zach's experience with you and with us. And this was a good time. This is very relatable. This I like was this. fun. Yeah, he's right. Take right. advice. Take advice. All right, guys. Question of the day. Stacy and Justin's question of the day is brought to you by <laughs> your boy. And you know my question is this. Have you ever been to a black function? So I won't say black cookout because right. a lot of people have never been to a black cookout. It but could have, have been like a you know a birthday a party. birthday party or could have been a uh, you know any other event that was thrown by mostly black people. Yes. Have you ever been? Document your experience with us in the comments. We're going to yes. be responding. We're going to be reading them and we're going to be laughing at them with you. Yes, it's going to be are. a good time. And did you have fun? You know you have. You time. know you had fun. And you know you heard some good music. Yeah, you did. If anything. You might have learned how to do the electric slide. Hey. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that's the electric slide song. If you've been to a black event, you know that. Yes. All right? If you took notes. Yeah. And uh, and would you go again? Yeah. Write that at the end, like if you would go again. Uh, and yeah. if not, why? Why? And either way, subscribe to us. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy the crew. Yeah. And uh, uh, we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. That works. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. We'll see you next time. Woo!